today on 15 on 15. New Investors hopes to attract more of the European market with chic Swiss villas. Plus, could it be that one glass of red wine is equivalent to one hour at the gym? Details during the lifestyle segment. And we will learn everything you need to know about whiskey with an expert. Hi everyone, you are watching 15 on 15. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yen Tolu. In 2013, the government of Aruba were soliciting investors in the European market for the island's tourism sector. Aruba's natural qualities enticed two Swiss investors on board. Swiss Paradise is located in Nord. The spacious accommodations available for tourists required a $6 million investment. There are plans to continue expanding and developing the property. There are 16 villas in total, with a plan to expand to six more for a total of 22 villas. An additional $10 million is planned to be invested in Swiss villas. One of the investors explains how the partnership came about. When I heard that Mike de Metza, the government of Aruba, being in Switzerland looking for investors, with a presentation in June 2013, so I get the information about uh, high confidential uh, presentation and that Aruba is looking for investors. Any hesitation or resistance the investors had over doing business in Aruba quickly went away as soon as they experienced the island firsthand. And I'm a scuba diver. I love scuba diving. And those beautiful beaches that I saw on your picture, on your tourism uh, site, that makes me very happy. And I need sun. I need without hurricanes. I need warm sunshine. Give me the right world of feeling, uh, vacation feeling. And for that reason, I take the plane coming over, making vacation. And then I understand after three days, I'm feeling home. The enthusiastic investor is passionate about the island and sees its true potential. She reminds the people on the island not to take where we live for granted as it is unique and absolutely special. This island is very unique and you have to understand that how unique it is. You have to learn to see it with the eyes of a foreigner. You are growing up here. You have a totally different view than a person comes from abroad, never been here. They see the beautiful places, what you have. They see the, how, how hard, like, uh, how nice and uh, the people are, how educated, how very clean is this island. Everybody is uh, very care of the cleanness of the island. This is beautiful. We have so many, but I think it's time to go a new market. So for that reason, we are investors. We like to make money. For that reason, we are here. But we see also Aruba have to look for new market segments. And this is Europe, Switzerland. We are, we are going on the upper class and we will show them how beautiful this island is. For that reason, we constructed in this way. Those are some very kind words regarding the island. In other local news, Aruba's schools are getting smarter thanks to connectivity and technology. E-learning is the focus here. The idea of the launch is to have children work on electronics such as tablets. Efficiency and productivity are the key elements. The sponsor behind the smart schools trusts that technology can provide the necessary tools students need nowadays to learn faster and better. The Minister of Education, Michelle Winkler, supports smart schools. Our rep behind the project explains why they chose Aruba. Well, we have a long-term commitment with the community. Uh, we know we are investing in education, we are investing in the future of Aruba. There are many benefits to implementing technology within a classroom and curriculum. Well, this interactive platform, you use tablets in order to uh, use uh, with the teacher and students. They can share all the information they have in the regular classroom. But uh, with uh, the con this connectivity, you can use other tools like internet, or you have a pop quiz, or you can do it uh, work, uh, group uh, working. On that note, we will be right back. Stay with us. Check out this robotic valet parking system next. love a good glass of red wine but hate the gym, then I'm about to make your day. 
Apparently, skipping the gym and hitting a bar instead is okay. You may get the same results. A new study finds a glass of red wine is the equivalent to a one-hour gym session. Yes, you heard correctly. Here are the details. Research conducted by the University of Alberta in Canada has found that health benefits in resveratrol, a compound found in red wine, are equivalent to those that we get from exercise. According to lead researchers, these findings will help those who are unable to exercise, as resveratrol was seen to improve physical performance, heart function, and muscle strength. It is speculated that resveratrol could help patient populations who want to exercise but are physically incapable. The compound could mimic exercise for those people or improve the benefits of the modest amount of exercises that they can do. Discussion over the health benefits of red wine have been well documented. Studies have revealed that those who drink a glass of red wine a day are less likely to develop dementia or cancer that it is also good for your heart, anti-aging, and can regulate blood sugar. But before you start adjusting your gym schedule to hit the bar, let's be real. This is all in moderation, and it only applies to red wine. There are other foods that include resveratrol, and that's blueberries, peanut butter, red grapes, and dark chocolate. So mix it up. Next time you have a cup of coffee, put some butter in it. It is a new trend going around that may forever change the way you drink coffee. But there is only one kind of butter you should put in your coffee, and that is grass-fed butter. Reason being, only grass-fed butter has the right fats that regulate cholesterol. This butter has the best ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids, which reduces body fat. It also provides healthy fats for your brain and body to create cell membranes and hormones. Here's why you should put it in your coffee. Drinking it each morning puts your body in the routine to burn fat all day helping you trim down overall. Components in grass-fed butter has been shown to reduce body fat mass, especially in overweight people. Furthermore, two tablespoons of butter in your coffee is all you need to replace a breakfast meal altogether, making this a quick alternative for people on the go. This combo of essential fats and calories is a higher performance blend than a carbohydrate source like oatmeal. Sounds like your coffee is about to get even creamier. In Germany, driving yourself to the airport and hopping on a plane has never been easier with the help of a robotic valet. Take a look at this. At Germany's Dusseldorf Airport, there is a robotic valet nicknamed Ray at your service. The addition of the automated forklift truck is aimed at business travelers who are in a hurry. The automated parking system can be controlled and booked via an app. All travelers have to do is drop the car off in a designated area, go to a nearby touchscreen to confirm that the car is empty, and Ray will do the rest. Ray uses sensors to measure and photograph the car. It then gently lifts it and takes it to one of the 249 parking spots reserved for the robot forklifts. The company behind this claims that it saves space. Ray uses lasers and sensors to measure not just the height and width of the cars, but accessories such as wing mirrors and fenders, which can park 60% more cars than a human driver. Impressive. There's more. Ray will retrieve the car based on flight itineraries. The app also lets car owners communicate with Ray if there are any flight delays. The airport charges $40 a day or $5.50 an hour for the service. That's not cheap. And we'll be right back. Take a look to see what is coming up next for you. Whiskey with food pairings and special concoctions. Be informed on Highland Park and Macallan Whiskey next. Some would say whiskey is an acquired taste. But with the right guidance and information, everyone can find the perfect whiskey to casually drink to or even to pair with certain foods. Recently, Pepiest hosted a few tasting sessions with a brand ambassador for Macallan and Highland Park Whiskey. Mr. Joe Cabasa is the brand ambassador for Macallan and Highland Park Whiskey. The two brands may fall under the same portfolio, but taste very greatly. Well, Macallan in, in particular is a peerless spirit. The way it's made, it's, it's all about building the best quality possible. We like to say that at Macallan we have a, a healthy obsession with quality. Right? So the result of the whiskey is, is a peerless spirit, recognized around the world. 
Uh, in the case of uh, Highland Park, Highland Park, it's, it's unique. It's a combination of flavors and character. It's unique to any other single malt in, in Scotland. Right? Uh, in the case of Highland Park, it's known as a, as a surprisingly sweet whiskey in terms of character, but then it's just a touch of smoke in the back. Just amazing character. Yeah. Aruba's service industry just became more knowledgeable when it comes to whiskey. A majority of the island's bartenders, servers, and managers attended the sessions led by the brand ambassador. Mr. Cabasa has a few tips, one of them being, don't be afraid to mix it up. Well, certainly whiskey, it's something you need to try and, and savor and, and get to know, certainly, right? Uh, but what I will say that once you try it, you fall in love with it. Whiskey offers you so many complexity and, and flavors that it's something you, not only just uh, something to enjoy, but something to, uh, to experiment as well. For instance, um, if you are out in the, uh, at, a, at a party outdoors in a terrace or maybe uh, early afternoon or late afternoon, uh, you, could, if you don't want to have a beer. You can have a Macallan Amber, for instance, a few blocks of ice, a splash of ginger ale. Right? or maybe just a splash of apple juice, just enough to refresh the, the, uh, the, the whiskey or bring out some of the flavors that are contained within it. There is one specific concoction that the brand ambassador highly recommends for those who are enjoying Macallan or Highland Park whiskey on the island. Uh, well, in the Caribbean, obviously, if you like to have your amber with a little coconut water, it will work perfectly. As a matter of fact, a whiskey with a sweetness and a touch of smokiness, much like, like Highland Park, with a touch of coconut water, will do just wonders. They say red wine goes with steak and white with fish, but what about when it comes to whiskey? The brand ambassador says food and whiskey most certainly go very well together and certain pairings match up better than others. Well, what grows together goes together. If you're going to have a nice uh, uh, Scottish salmon, Scotch whiskey will do very well with it. If you're going to have haggis, well, Scotch whiskey goes well with it. Having said that, obviously, depending on the character of the whiskey, you can pair with a uh, certain food, right? For instance, if you're going to have a, um, a smoked fish or maybe a, a grilled uh, steak, well, you're going, to have, you're going to need a nice whiskey with a lot of uh, character to it. A Sherry Oak 12-year-old, Macallan, a Highland Park 12-year-old, nice character, will match very well with a nice grilled steak, for instance, right? So depending on the character and the flavor, uh, flavor richness of the food, you can match with a Scotch whiskey as well. During the whiskey sessions, the brand ambassador explained the various expressions Macallan and Highland Park offer. Proper suggestive selling is the objective. When it comes to whiskey, it is important for restaurant service staff to be a trusted advisor and know when and who to offer each type of whiskey too. There you go, a little info on whiskey to close off today's edition of 15 on 15. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.